welcome to another vlog what this vlog is gonna be about we'll have to see but this morning i just made up the bed it was really cold this morning i can see that the colder weather is like literally upon us and I, this is why i just like autumn because it's a season where it's like hot and cold at the same time so i'm wearing like a long sleeve top but it's rolled up because i'm hot and cold simultaneously anyway and then i did the dishes this morning while i was listening to some music and i wrote down what i needed to do for the day and then i started reading when i started reading i'm almost done was the crowd at sing it is an absolutely beautiful book i have not hidden the plot twist of the book just yet i'm almost, i can feel it well i feel i can read it anyway so i want to finish this book either today or hopefully by tomorrow morning so i can start a new book because every friday i present what book i'm going to be reading to my company so i'm almost like pressured to read like a new book a week sometimes it's difficult but whatever i'm having my second cup of coffee i thought i'd show you what i did last night uh, with my books so let me show you quickly this is my little bookshelf that is positioned right here oops need to still fold this and i took all the books out and i just like cleaned it off dusted it off etc and i rearranged it which is all in like a rainbow color like white and beige yellow uh my blues and greens and then the pink reds orange browns blacks the way that i am reading now I, this bookshelf is going to be completely full by the end of this year i can't find a bookshelf that is aesthetically pleasing but also will have more space that is not going to cost me an arm and a leg someone suggested i just get brackets but it's right next to the fridge so i can't get brackets and i'm also don't want to invest in something ridiculously expensive and then i move and then that bookshelf does not fit the new space so i'm thinking until we move this bookshelf is just gonna have to do its thing and if all else fails i'll maybe i don't know i don't know if you have any suggestions on how i can do this or if you know of bookshelves that kind of will fit this little area right here please let me know i did also have to move that way because i started noticing because it's right next to the fridge it is making my books look really old that like it's making the paper yellow and i had one book that was moldy which is not ideal however we do want to replace this fridge because this fridge is as old as what i am um and there's a lot of issues with it it still works and so i think i'm gonna until we can like kind of save up for a fridge because we need a fridge and a vacuum cleaner and vacuum cleaners the one that i want is this DeFi one which is like it pulls apart because courtney needs a like hand one for the car but this particular one is about three four but i want to save the money up because we do have other responsibilities you know so i am going to drink my coffee and then start my work day i just made this gimlet cocktail i actually did the little video for my reels and you guys can check it out on my wine instagram so i'm just gonna take a picture of this right now so this is the best light i guessed so i just open these curtains so that i can get a great shot Good morning! Long time, no see, check. Didn't even pick up this camera. There is dust all over it. It shows you how long I haven't vlogged. It is Tuesday today. It is a nice day, even though I am getting cold. So I'm wearing a long sleeve top. But oftentimes, throughout the day, like yesterday, I had a jersey on. And then I took it off and I was like, I'm getting hot. Anyway. I have been super ill. I'm not gonna go into that other than the fact that my period pain is like excruciating and every month I'm seeing it like being really bad. So I know at some point I'm gonna have to go to the doctor because 
it's been the last few months where I've kind of been bedridden and thank God for Courtney because he's really helped out like he's stepped up the game he like does the dishes he does the cooking then all the cleaning especially for the idea when I when it started but anyway I've got a pile of dishes there is this one thing I hate doing chores the dishes is the worst I don't mind sweeping I don't mind cleaning bathrooms I don't mind cleaning mold off our wall because we live by the beach. That's the one thing they don't tell you. Oh, live by the beach, live by the seaside. And then you deal with a lot of rust, you deal with a lot of mold because the air is really cold, especially now in autumn and winter. And then your, wall, your walls get moldy and your curtains start getting mold spots. Yeah, so curtains are clean or wash the curtains because the mold has been getting super bad. I'm also slowing down on a lot of posting and stuff on social media because other than me obviously being ill i have so much work like i am dying under the work i was supposed to vlog, post a vlog last week i half did editing couldn't finish it i'm hoping to do it this week putting my second job we are planning a shoot for the next two weeks but finding a photographer within our price range is going to be quite a little bit difficult but it's fine we found one who did our shoot about two years ago and he's super nice we were prepping a lot of what the looks should look like if you don't know i work for a textile store so a lot of the things are around fabrics so we're looking at doing a lot of scatter cushions, looking at what themes are and trends are going to work for this year or for this upcoming season. I actually hate that part of my job. It's actually not even part of it, but it just happens to be. But it's fine. It happens once every two years. So it's cool. fries are in the air fryer I thought I'd show you my kind of book that I'm reading now I read um, with a crowd I'd seen loved that book loved it I think I mentioned it already but I'm mentioning it again and um, the book I'm reading now it's called help me how self help has not changed my life it is a non-fiction book <laughs> I got some gifts from Jura Book. I actually forgot when the PR person called me and she said, Oh, she's on her way. And I was like, What is this for? I totally forgot. I agreed to do a tweet up with Jura Book uh, for Mother's Day. I think we're making candles because this is a soy plant wax. I don't know what's this candle deli. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a candle kit. Which I think is cool. I've never heard of this before. And then here are some. Oh, it smells amazing. This is. I don't know if they actually sell this. This is candle wax. I'm also assuming. It smells amazing. Um, and then obviously some of the Jordan book wines accompanied with this. I actually had both of these. And I can vouch they are absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I actually gift a lot of Jordan books wines to friends and family. Honestly, I, like, I buy it myself because I really, really love Jordan book. I, no, I'm not saying it because of PR later. I literally buy this stuff in the mall. Good morning. <laughs> it is Friday and I've got my dress on, I've got my sneakers on. What an angle, what an angle. But today is Friday and I'm finishing up work and then we have a work function this afternoon at Simon's at Groot Constantia. And I'm so excited to just like be with actual colleagues and not see them on the screen all the time. Uh, so I just thought I'll get dressed in the meantime. Um, and then I'll do my age just before I leave. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be a picnic and it's gonna be a, a fun thing and you know, 
this wine involved so it's gonna be a lovely Friday afternoon I'll try and bring you along it's just I don't want to invade people's privacy and their space good morning I feel like whenever I put this camera on i'm always saying like good morning but i often forget to switch my camera on i think the last footage you saw was me on my way to Groot constantia so it was a really nice afternoon friday afternoon and i'll put a little bit of videos i didn't even take a lot i didn't take a lot of pictures because i really missed my colleagues and we sat there we enjoyed food we enjoyed wine we enjoyed everyone's companies and then lisa brought me home at like eight o'clock so it was a really fun day uh and seeing everyone in person and not like in a video format and then saturday i went to work and then Kurt and i went to canal walk because it was month end and everything that i needed all the shops that i needed was at canal walk so we ended up going to pick up my clothing, I had to do my shopping, oh, my weekly shopping, I had to buy all personal care stuff at Clicks, and then I ended up going to exclusive books, buying books, which I'm going to show you some of the books now. I'm so excited about these books that I purchased because, I don't know, I was telling Koti when he was still in Panadotti's, um, after all our shopping excursions because <laughs> four hours had gone by and by the time we looked again it was like six o'clock so i was like oh i'm not gonna go to make food even though i should have to save money but we just went to panorotis got some pizzas and that was it um and i want to show you some of the stuff that i got also my hand oh my god both of my hands have been extremely sore and i knew this day would come where my hand is particularly my right and this is just like cohesive full cohesive bandage and it's just to like put some pressure on on it but basically i'm putting a lot of strain on particularly my right arm or my right hand when it comes to using my phone my camera when i'm holding it um and i obviously use a laptop every single day and it was excruciating the veins were literally like popping out like it was so so sore this left hand was painting on Saturday, the whole of Saturday, um, and it's now totally fine, but the right hand is still a little bit painting, so I just got this cohesive bandage on. But let me show you what stuff I got. I am not a big shopper when it comes to winter clothing, I am flippin' stingy when it comes to that, because winter items of clothing are just ridiculously expensive and i get it you know it's wool it's much thicker i don't buy a lot of it but i did actually buy something that is pen is being delivered today and it was on sale so when it comes in i will show you but i got this jersey it is a three-tone jersey from pick and pay clothing it's a turtleneck and i really loved it it's so different um it's 270 then i thought i'd show you the quality of it i mean there is little holes in here but that's fine i can always put like a tunic like this um, underneath it but yeah i thought i'd show you this and then i got some books i can't believe i'm so excited about these books you guys i mean look at this i'm still reading help me and i do i still have a stack of books from like two months ago but I really got excited. So, this book, um, On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous. I heard so many things about this book, just like all the other books that I hear about. This book is apparently emotionally triggering, but it's a really good book um, from what I was told. And I was looking for this book everywhere. This is actually not the original cover. I'll show you what the original cover actually looks like. And then I got The Midnight Library which apparently people said that if you are a book lover then you would definitely love this book and so i kept seeing it everywhere and i was like okay it smell of new book <sighs> and then the book that i've been looking for everywhere and the problem is that a lot of the new releases are not being shipped to south africa because of covid so books from uk and america are taking its own time so i'm watching out all these 
um, Western YouTubers talking about these books, but it's not here. But guess what book I found? The Vanishing Act! Ah! It's like all over. It's like the best. It says New York um, Times bestseller. I don't like the size of these books. I'm just going to be honest. Like I literally said to the woman, do not have a, a smaller size. Like this is the normal size that I like. Can you see the difference? I, hurt, I really hate the size, but it is what it is. I got it for a hundred rand, so there's the plug for that. <laughs> My delivery from Santa came, and I was making food. <sighs> Let's see, this fits me. So I bought me these boots. I'm out of breath. I didn't think I'd walk downstairs. Um, and they are knee high boots. I bought a size 4 because for the last, the last piece of shoes that I've been purchasing, they all look in size 4. And oh shit, they're not. Okay. I thought this was elastic. <sighs> it's suede. Ah, oh, I'm so pissed off. Let me see if it fits me or not. Look here. I thought it really was elastic. This is what I'm talking about. It's suede, and I genuinely thought it was elastic. And what happens is that I've got a big calf. The boot is, I mean, the size four foot, which I'm glad about. <laughs> But the actual boot doesn't fit because I thought that was elastic and not suede. I eventually got these boots up. I also bought wood boot, which Courtney's taking back as well. That actually has elastic in and it still wouldn't close. Or oh, I didn't actually try, but I tried again this morning. It fit. It took a minute. I didn't hear anything breaking. But what I'm gonna do is because someone on Facebook said that the, someone has taken it to like a seamstress. And put like elastic in so i'm gonna keep these boots and then i'm going to take it to a seamstress and see what they can suggest in terms of putting some sort of elastic in afternoon it's so weird that i'm saying something in the afternoon because usually i'm like good morning anyway i haven't vlogged for a few days because i know this is too much information but this is my life and this is what i'm dealing with I have a hemorrhoid and uh, if you ever had one before it's fucking sore it's like you are in the most excruciating pain because you can't sit and if it's in a weird angle even me standing right now it is so so another word for it because I couldn't have to go to the chemist yesterday to get me and I was like Courtney can you get me hemorrhoid cream so obviously he went to go and ask and people didn't know what hemorrhoids were. So another word is for it is piled. I had it about five years ago and it's flippin' sore. It's like so so sore. Anyway, it's Friday afternoon. I'm so happy that I don't have to work tomorrow because it's a public holiday to work say yeah for me. So I can sleep late on a Saturday morning. But I have some horses in the air fryer, which I order via my mom type thing um and then i thought i'd show you quickly what book i'm reading i'm reading the midnight library and it is such a charming read oh my gosh it is it's so like i i don't think i would have thought of something like this as a storyline but it's so cute oh it's adorable i some clean bedding anyway i am gonna close this vlog or otherwise it'll be super long i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and hope to see you in the next one i'm just waiting till courtney works till one o'clock because today's a public holiday it was so nice to wake up a little bit late and read my book and enjoy my coffee and yeah i'm just gonna play a little bit of music 
delicious. Do some washing. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.